So I've been piling stuff here that I was inspired by, so let's walk through them quickly. There was the sailboat in this water. I just thought this photo was really nice, and I think we could maybe take the water out, or maybe take the sailboat out, put it somewhere else. But I kind of liked that photo a lot. The next thing was this picture of this gondola lift. So the other thing that was in the back of my mind when I was looking for images was I kind of want to use embroidery floss again. I did do one collage a couple months ago where I added embroidery detail. I was thinking if I could take this lift and put it in a scene that is very small, maybe close-ups of flowers or something where you were very, very small, close in on the subject. And I could use the embroidery floss as the cable between two objects in that picture and then put the lift. I thought maybe that would work. Kind of like that idea. The next one is this tree picture. What I like about this image is all of the extra things that are around the tree. So what I think I can do is cut out the actual tree itself, all the bark and the trunk and everything, and replace it with some other texture or something that maybe looks a little bit like a tree but isn't, or maybe something totally different like a sun setting or something. And if we keep the shape of the tree, maybe that it could still feel like a tree because of all these elements that are on it. I think this one might be kind of difficult to find the right image to replace the tree, but I do kind of like the idea. The last one was this group of goldfish and I just liked them. I don't know, I thought they were cute. I thought they were a nice little bunch and I thought that maybe we pulled them out, we could put them in some sort of background. And the environment I was thinking was one we almost used a couple weeks ago in the heart collages. And I thought maybe they'd fit perfectly into this scene and maybe we could take out this bottom area and maybe the what's in the windows and make it feel like it's fully underwater. Then put the goldfish inside of the living room. That might work, that might be fun. So there's, I don't know, four ideas that I could work on. Let's start working on one of them and see where we go. I think I'm gonna work on the gondola picture next. And I was originally thinking flowers, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of flowers lately. So I'm gonna pull out this mushroom book and see if we can find an image that's really up close and personal with two mushrooms and maybe we can have the gondola going between them uh, or something like that. So I'm gonna flip through this and hopefully we can find something, some image that will work for this idea. Now that I'm thinking about it, we might be able to use two completely different photos and connect the two photos with the gondola lift and the embroidery floss. So I don't think that these are the right images, but I think I could keep that in mind. If I can't find one image that has two mushrooms far enough apart, I can just take two different images and it can be going between the two images. I think that that would work. So let's take this image here and say we started the ride somewhere up on this mushroom and had it go down to a separate image that was down here. I think the more and more I talk about that idea, I kind of like it. So let's keep looking for maybe an image to go along with that one or two different ones. I still haven't found, you know, the perfect ones yet. So I found my two mushroom pictures that I think will work with the gondola. And I think if I arrange them something sort of like this, then have the cable go between these two mushrooms and have the gondola sit somewhere around here, maybe mostly on the white paper and maybe overlap this image a little bit. But I think that will create, you know, these two worlds that we're connecting via this gondola. I think that's gonna work. Let's start putting it together, but I think we'll, I think we can make it work. So we're probably gonna use 
a white piece of paper for this, but I did recently get some of this uh, craft colored paper, I guess you could call it, because I thought maybe I'd wanna use that as a background sometimes. So I guess I just kinda wanna look to see what it would look like on this craft paper. I mean, I think it's fine, but I guess I just think it doesn't make sense. I'm not sure, not that it, I don't know why it would make more sense on white paper. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I think both these images fit surprisingly well in terms of the composition on this piece of paper. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by how well that is working. Now, I will say this cable thing at the top of the uh, lift is facing the wrong way because the cable car in the image was actually going up and I want it to be going down. But I think we can change that by just doing a little bit of surgery and then we'll just put the cable thing going the other way. And I think we fixed it. <laughs> so that's perfect. Now where the lines are gonna go, I guess they're gonna go between this mushroom and this one. I guess the other thing is I could have it go all the way down further, you know, from this mushroom down to this mushroom. Then I could have a steeper of a cable and that might be, that might be better. I kind of like that because I do want the cable car sitting off more of the image than I think I had it before. So I think, that that will work. So I do have a good amount of colors of embroidery floss, but I think that black is probably the best bet. I think it will, it probably just makes the most sense. It will stand out. Uh, so let's go with black, although I do think that's a little less fun, I guess. I mean, you could maybe do red because of how much red there is in the rest of this scene, but I just think black makes the most sense. So let's do that. So I'm gonna glue these images down and then we'll add the cables as the last step. And then I think we'll be wrapping this one up. Next, let's see if we can get these goldfish into this living room scene. I don't know if there's gonna be an opportunity to add embroidery to this. My guess is no, but let's see if we can even get these into the scene. I think this is gonna work. I think if we tuck some of the fish underneath this, I guess, loft area, that will help. I also think if we replace all of this down here with the stairs, I'm gonna have to cut in between the banisters, which will be annoying, but I think if we add down here where there's this boat, if we just make that water, that will make this feel like they're more underwater than they are. So I think this is gonna work. Let's keep going with it.
I think what I need to do is more integration. This TV bookshelf thing, I think I can cut out and tuck that fish behind it so he's hidden more. Maybe this fin can be tucked behind the couch over here. Maybe I can get this railing out a little bit more and tuck this fin back here under the railing. I think that that might help um, because right now it looks like I just stuck four goldfish on top of this picture and it's not, it's not quite doing it for me yet. All right, I think a lot of the integrations that I did helped a lot. Putting this fish behind this chair here, I think helps. And then definitely sticking this big fish back here behind a lot of things, I think helps with the, the different layering. So let's get this glued up and we will be done.